things I want to just um, talk about briefly is what I've already seen kids doing with Google Apps, just the power that it has for students to collaborate with one another, um, and that's student to student, teacher to student in real time. Things that I find most valuable in using Google Apps for um, education is that I can go into a student's document in real time and I can reteach if a student doesn't understand, I can redirect if a student is not doing what they're supposed to, or I can even prompt a student to go more in depth into the project that they're doing and um, encourage them to go a little deeper into their thinking and their understanding of what they're doing. Google Docs is great because you can access it anywhere and it's a really great way for me to keep organized and um, have my homework with me if I need it. I also am not losing it because it's online. My favorite feature of Google Apps is that uh, it allows the teacher to give students timely and relevant feedback and the way I like to do that is using the comments feature in Google Docs. Um, I can see a history of comments I've left on this document uh, with that student and I've addressed issues of science with them. I asked them if they could identify radiation for me. Um, she went ahead and looked up a definition and I was late, later able to go back and have a conversation with her exactly about what radiation was. The cool thing is that when students get the feedback it's really easy for them to, to get in there to correct it um, and after they correct it it seems like they're less likely to go back and make the same mistake. Being able to help our peers in what we're doing as a team, it makes it a lot easier to know what what they're thinking and like how they can help us and how we can help them together. The way I use um, Google spreadsheets is <clears throat> I use my tablet and I walk around my tablet and write and keep track of. Um, the conferences that I have with my students in real time. So what I do is, let's say I'm, gonna, I'm walking around and I'm going to conference with Chris and I go to him in my tablet here and I go ahead and I tap inside his box and let's say I want to work with him on um, developing his thesis. I use my voice so I use speech to text and I say continue working on your thesis statement so I have it in my document on my tablet and the kid has it on their screen in real time. Well I like Google Apps because first of all it can go across any device and you can log into it from anywhere. Like I have my project here, I am doing a research project on Steve Jobs, the creator of the iPad, and I can edit it anywhere, even on my iPad, by just simply clicking the edit button, and I can share it with my teachers. So it's really helpful for getting a lot of homework done, and um, not getting behind when I'm sick or on a trip. I mean, we need to be out of place eventually with benchmark assessments where teachers are comparing student work, looking at student work and practicing evaluating together, uh, work together. That can be done using Google Apps, where teachers don't have to be sitting in a classroom to, together anymore to be making sure that they're, they're um, using the rubric 
appropriately and evaluating work consistently. A teacher can do that for at East Middle School with a teacher in another building or even within our buildings, different grade levels. Um, so I think there's some power there too to, to um, actually continue the work you do in professional learning communities where you don't have to be sitting in the same room. You can be in different places and still continue that work.